Hello friends. In this video, we are going to solve a problem on how we can determine the state space representation of a system. So let's take a problem. So our problem is we have to determine the state equations of the system and transfer function of the system is given to us. So let's try to solve this problem. We are given the transfer function so we know that the transfer function it is the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output and the input. So GS will be equal to this transfer function it is going to equal to Ys upon Us that is the ratio of the Laplace transform of output and the Laplace transform of the input under the condition that all the initial conditions are zero it is the assumption in it okay so this is given equal to 100 upon s s square plus 0.1 s plus 10 now we are going to cross multiply these and then we are going to take the inverse Laplace transform. So just cross multiply it we will get just multiply it inside so it is s cube plus 0.1 s square plus 10 s multiplied with ys equals to 100 us. Okay. Now we are going to take the inverse Laplace transform. So this will be going to equal to y triple dot because we have s cube plus 0.1 s square so y double dot plus 10 s so y dot equals to 100 u. So when we take the inverse Laplace transform, we have this derivative points over the variable. So ys is there. So y will be here. S cube ys multiplied with it. So it will become y triple dot. Then point 0.1 s square ys. So it will become y double dot. And 10 s ys. So it will become 10 y dot. Okay. We are just taking the inverse Laplace transform. Now, to obtain the state equations, we have to assume the state variables. So first we will assume our first state variable. Suppose y which is our output, it is our first state variable x1. Okay. Then we are going to differentiate it. That is x1 dot will be the second state variable. And this will be equal to because x1 is equal to y. So x1 dot will be equal to y dot. Now differentiation of the second state variable x2 dot is our third state variable x3. So x2 dot means y dot and then dot. So y double dot. Double differentiation of y. Then differentiation of this x3 that is x3 dot it is equal to y triple dot. Now from this equation which we have obtained earlier this last equation equation number one if we obtain the value of y triple dot then it is equal to all the rest of the terms will go to the right hand side. So it is 100u minus 0.1y double dot minus 10y dot. This is the equation for y triple dot. So we are going to write this equation here. 
so y triple dot is 100 u minus we have 0.1 y double dot so y double dot is what x3 so we are going to put here 0 0.1 x3 then we have minus 10 y dot so y dot is what it is x2 so we are going to put here minus 10 x2 okay so we have got the value of our third state variable derivative x3 dot equals to 100 u minus 0.1 x3 minus 10 x2 so the derivatives of all the three state variables we have obtained now our state model will become Now x1 dot equation is x1 dot is equals to x2. So x2 is here. So this will be 0. This will be 1 and it is going to 0. Because when we are going to multiply this, these two matrices, then what equation we will get? 0 into x1, then plus x2 and 0. So only x2 will be there. And u term is also not involved in this. So here its coefficient will be 0. Then for x2 dot, the equation is only x3 is present. So x3 term will be 1 and rest other will be 0. Then for x3 dot, we have x1 is not involved. So it is 0. x2 coefficient is minus 10. x3 coefficient is minus 0.1. And u coefficient is 100. So this is our state equation. Next for the output equation that is y. So y is equals to we have assumed that the output is our first state variable x1. So y is equals to x1. So the output equation will become 1 0 0 okay. So this is our output equation y equals to x1. So only x1 coefficient is 1 and rest other are 0. So this is our output equation. And this is our state equation. And these two equations together they will form the state model of the system. So in this question, we were given the transfer function of the system and we have to determine the state equations of the system. So what we have done, we know that transfer function, it is the ratio of the Laplace transform of output and the input. So we have written it, cross multiply, then take the inverse Laplace transform, then assume the state variables. The first state variable will be our output, y equals to x1. Then similarly, write the equation for other state variables and then you can derive the state model of the system. So I hope that you are now able to solve these kinds of problems and this problem is understood to you. Thank you.